And uh, Henry Wong has a really good point. Mm. Heavy Metal Incorporated is making ships out of rocks instead of metal. They have betrayed their core values. How can anyone support them? And do you know what? I think you're right, Henry. They have betrayed heavy metal for soft rock. That is that is a truth fact. Yep, yep. And I, I don't think that's okay, is it? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Stellaris Dev Clash of 2022. And Nurgle... I can hear myself. Thank you. Woo, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, well, let, let's quash that right off the bat because I am not going to be able to handle two hours of listening to myself talk on a half a second delay. But anyway, welcome back. And uh, chat immediately noticed the nerd shirt of the week. I ran out of uh, uh, sci-fi nerd shirts. Uh, some of them were packed up, but you know, you know from the move. But I went with a, a grab boy today. Went with tremors and DJ finally. Getting on yeah, board yeah. with it. I, I, I actually managed to find one of my few sci-fi t-shirts. There you go. Oh, oh, I did it just for you, Ben. Just for you. Damn straight. Only four yep. weeks late, but we got a Wayland yutani shirt. I'm, I, I, I approve. I, I realized I actually had one that was like, that one! That, that's <laughs> one! Yeah, perfect. Yep. I, I, I own football shirts, not sci-fi shirts. Yeah, I'm well, a that... nerd in many ways, and my not football shirts are expensive, all right? <laughs> um, so what, what I'm hearing is you could have bought like 30 sci-fi nerd shirts for the cost of one. That doesn't really, that's not helping out. It's more it's... like three to one, if we're being honest. Okay. Like if we're actually being honest about things, the price is about three to one. <laughs> I'm not lying. Trevor's is a great series that ended after four movies. Yes, whatever you do, do not watch past four. It's like Indiana Jones. You don't watch past three. Anywho, we're here to play Stellaris, aren't we? <laughs> We, we are, yes. Like it's three not just here to discuss you and I's t-shirts. Three as, as tangents aside, <laughs> three tangents aside, we're, we're here to play some Stellaris. But anyway, so some things happened last week. The universe looks a little bit different. If we could, we do a transition into a map here. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, it, it it's It's a bit of a mess. I don't, well, it, the, oh, go, go, go. The L cluster is 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 just yeah. horrible. But that aside, everybody is friends on the inside of the L cluster. So I'm kind of like pro team L cluster just because they're, you know, cooperating in there. It, if if you want to make the L cluster even worse, turn off your uh, unions map mode. Oh no, I, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, at I'm looking yeah. at what you're looking at right here. It's it yeah. it's fine. It's it's vile. I'll I'll turn I'll turn that back on to make it better. Um, so your your team L cluster are you? Well, just because I I like the play style of turtling. That's just the way I like to play the game. And and if if that's what they're doing here is just using the the L cluster to kind of hang out in as the rest of the universe implodes around them, uh, and and they're just def defending the gateway. I'm I'm cool with that. Okay. Okay. See, I, I really I'm like Supreme to Commander. Pick my favorite. Supreme oh, go. Yeah, Supreme Commander had really strong defenses, which is a real, which was a style of gameplay I really liked. I played a lot of Supreme Commander when I was young, so now I just I have nostalgia for turtling. Oh, that's a good point. Um, Nogal in chat. Sorry to uh, change subject on you suddenly, but mm. Nogal uh, in chat has just pointed out what this week's uh, goal is or or award is. Um, and this time, it's the big one, the MVP. Uh, we want you to vote on your favorite empire of the entire game. Um, so uh, that will be happening at the end, as per normal, uh, and that vote will, will take place um, towards the end of the stream. Um, but yes, this session's uh, vote is the MVP. So you've said your, your favorite group is the Gardeners of the Galaxy, who are out in the L-Class style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's my favorite like group of players right now, and the way they're <laughs> they're handling the gameplay. Yes. So, who would you vote for for MVP? Um, see, that's entirely that's an entirely different question. I, I'm aware. They, it, it, oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> that is an entirely different question. Uh, oof, oof, oof. Um, I gotta say. I'm I, I'm I'm a big fan of chaos. 
So I would say that my personal MVP would be the quality assurance core, <laughs> just because they upended the galaxy like twice. I I can accept that. Yeah, yeah. See, at the moment, I think my MVP for the reasons that you like the Gardeners of the Galaxy is actually the Order of Our Lady Trappist. Because they've been so steady this whole time. They, they, they've had a great game where they have just sat there and done their thing. And I mean, if you look at their empire, like, they're full of mega structures. Oh, it's dense. Yeah. Yep. And, and like, they, they've got a strategic coordination sensor. They've got a matter decompressor. Um, what's in here? In here, they've got... Uh, da, 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 da. They've, they've got a mega shipyard. It, you know, they've got all of the, the, the stuff that you would want at this stage of the game. And I do love that. But as much as I adore them, and I do, mm -hmm. I'd have to give it to Heavy Metal Inc. If anything, just for their fleet naming convention because their fleet naming convention has been utterly wonderful. So, uh, um, I hate to interrupt you there, but chat oh, saying yeah. that the human game developers have given away territory oh. back to the Commonwealth, and the borders do look a little, it's got like a little appendix up there again. Yeah. Um. It's got a nubbly little appendix hanging off the top there. But why? There's got to be some back, some backroom dealings going on. Yeah, right. They're rolling the borders back to you know before the Commonwealth got two thirds annihilated. They they rolled the borders back to before the first war. Mm -hmm. Like so, the first first war. That that makes me think that there's a, a a cooling of relations between the Commonwealth and the human game developers here, and there might be some. Um, Re reordering going on, perhaps? I, I mean, I do wonder if perhaps this is to do with um, the fact that Heavy Metal Inc. is, uh, you know, taking the crisis. Um, yeah. They're also trying to name, declare the human game developers from Earth as a crisis. Oh, is that still? Okay, hang on. I haven't looked at the... At the, um, the yeah, I just jumped the, into the it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, yeah. two up. Not and another stand. nominate for custodian of, for the Order of Our Lady Trappist. The fact that the, our Order of Lady Trappist team has nearly half a million fleet power now is a nice change of pace, too, because they were always just kind of like, I think for a while, everybody had several tens of thousands of fleet power, and they were sitting there at like 900. But it was, and... I think it was a situation of, why do I need a fleet? I have other people to do my fighting for me. Very much so. Nobody can Proper get to us turtling. back here. Yeah. Yep. Proper turtling. Hide mm -hmm. behind somebody else that's got a bigger stick than you. Um, <laughs> it's literally <clears throat> my early game strategy in Stellaris most of the time. Yeah. Find an AI, make friends with them, hide behind them. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty valid strategy for a lot of Paradox games. It's make an ally, declare, <laughs> declare a war. <laughs> And then have them do the fighting for you. I mean, that, like that's one of my favorite EU4 strategies is to just get a big vassal swarm or a bunch of little allies and just let them let them do the fighting. I'll just sit back and collect the ducats. I, I have I've been playing a run recently on this where I'm a feudal a voidborn feudal empire, and so you can make these tiny little empires, but as long as you pump them full of alloys, they build habitats everywhere. And so although they're tiny, they get really powerful. And then you've just got this swarm of tiny but powerful vassal states that just go and murder things for you. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, I can hard, hard relate to that one. Yep. I've been, um, sorry, guys. I've been playing a, a lot of EU4 offline. <laughs> I've been, I, I haven't played EU4 uh, since, I, uh, since I started working on, on Hoi, basically. So it's been you know a while since I... Um, I, I was focused on EU4, and just a, like last week, I started playing it again, and I've just been cranking through achievement runs. So now I've got EU4 on the brain. I I I, I do that sometimes. You you, I find I'm I'm very much like that with games where 
I'll play one thing for a while. Mm. And then suddenly it will just be like, nope, I'm done with that now. And I don't know what it is that flicks in my head, but it's just like, nope, done with that now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, I played, yeah. Uh, you know, like like 50 hours of Dyson Sphere program. And I was like, okay, I've done Dyson Sphere program. Now I'm now I'm on to like right back to EU4. And when I'm done with EU4, I'll probably go play SnowRunner again because I've got an Iron Man game of SnowRunner I'm playing. Yeah. And you just sort of rotate between games, right? Um, mm -hmm. Every yeah. now and then, a new one comes along it's that like, you add to the rotation. You, you don't you don't play a game and then a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one. You just smash one for fifty or sixty hours, then you move into the next one and repeat. Yep, yep. I'm sure that's not any kind of obsessive behavior or no, anything I, like that. No, I, I'm sure that's not common amongst our players either. <laughs> <laughs> we we have not bred that into them for a decade. So. Everyone's behaving at this point. Um, hang on. So, hmm. how long have the Commonwealth controlled a gateway in the middle of the human game developers? Or is that another... Uh, ooh. Uh, I don't know. There's so many, like, exclaves right now scattered across the galaxy. I've lost track of what's been where for how long. Yep. Yep. But, yeah, they, they randomly control... One of the very few gateways in the human game developer's empire. And it... I mean, good gosh. It, it literally, like, chops their empire in half. Yeah. Just, it's, it's a, it's kind of a strategic system. It, it really is. Yeah. No, no. I have... Oh, yeah. Ro, Ro has just said in chat, that was just given to them. I, I have a question for chat right now. So, chat, you guys are all... You guys don't know why you're here. You're all Paradox Gamers. Come on. Uh, so, how, I, I would like I would like chat to let us know. Let's, 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 let's compare our Steam profiles here. Uh, what game you have... What Paradox game you have the most hours on? And how many hours? So, for, for me, it would be EU4, and it's about 4,400. You will be shocked and stunned to know that, for me, it is Stellaris. Uh... <laughs> with uh just over three thousand hours now. Okay, 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 respectable, respectable, respectable. Yeah. Um some a lot of good numbers in chat. Fifty six hundred hours in Stellaris, which I believe means that person is technically almost two DJs. Yep. Um I think I'm trying to think if there's anything that I have significantly more hours in on Steam. I don't think there is. There I, are a couple that are around it. Um, but I don't think I have anything that, yeah. I was about to say, Freak, that's cheating. Your 9,000 hours your is idle not real time. and you know it. Yeah. Your idle time. I mean, for, I, if you look at my, my Steam list of like most played games, I'm sure it's like Paradox, 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 Paradox. But there's one outlier, and that's RimWorld, which I also have like 3,800 hours on. Yeah. Um, hard to say, funnily enough. Um, I've spent far too much time in that game. Um, so, people are expanding their empires peacefully at this point. Um, second is K. Oh, Matthew, your second is KSP. Was like, I love Kerbal. You really? <laughs> I love Kerbal Space Program. And my God, n there if there's a game that is really butt puckering to play on Iron Man mode, it's Kerbal Space <laughs> Program. <laughs> Kerbal's one of those games that I should adore, and I, something about it, I just never. It it never tickles me right, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, I, I, I don't know why either. I couldn't give you any logical reason for that, you know? Mm. Um, but something about Kerbal just never tickles me right. And it is, like, looking at it, it's the, you know, when you look at a game and you're like, I should love this game. Why don't I love oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, yep, that, that one's, Kerbal's that for me. Um, There's a lot of strategy games where I picked them up and I'd be like, this looks like something I would love. And then I'll play it for 45 minutes and be like, ugh. Yeah, and something just doesn't click with you, right? And mm -hmm. you, you're just like, I don't know why, but this isn't quite for me. It's, and it, it's it, 
certainly not saying it's a bad game or any nonsense like that, right? It's more no, nope, there's there's something about this that just isn't for me. Like I'm I'm very forgiving with uh with, with with video games these days. Like they could be deeply flawed and I could still enjoy them, but every once in a while, like something will annoy me in a game and I'll just be like, nope, this stupid little thing, I can't play it because of that. Yep. I was yep. I was playing um uh I'm not gonna say what it was. I was playing some game. Uh, just last week, and like there was a, a, a se section where like the 3D model just wasn't extended down long enough to clip through the terrain. So like yeah. there was all these awkward like polygonal edges sticking out all over the place, and I was like, it would take you two seconds to just put that down. <laughs> we're like, nope, nope, because of that, because that that one 3D model. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. It, it's amazing what will set us as players off, isn't it? It's, yeah. And uh... then I'll go play Dwarf Fortress for a thousand hours. Yeah. Because uh, graphics are important. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Cities is another game I have a lot of hours in. Um, have you ever done Have you ever done any time in Cities, Ben? I, I have. I played a lot of Cities when it was new, when it, like, just came out for... I think I played up through, like, the first two DLCs a lot, and then I got distracted by working at Paradox after. But I did play a lot what? of it when it was early. So, and sorry to change the subject quickly. Um, do you want to have a quick look at the Galactic Community? Yeah, let's pull that up. Let's see. Uh, set in session. Declaring. They're all agreeing. I mean, okay. Uh, well... I guess we're going for human game developers are evil part two. I, I, I'm confuddled. I, I will be honest with you, especially like the, the heavy metal link. We're the crisis. Also, we're going to make our friend the custodian. <laughs> Lady Trapper's theme for Galactic Empress. Ooh, that could happen, couldn't it? Um, I can't remember what their ethics were. Fanatic spiritualist pacifists. Um, I mean, it'd be fairly on brand for this dev clash for a pacifist to end up as Galactic Emperor, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to reorganize the galaxy into the first Galactic Empire. Yep. The, the pacifist, the first galactic empire. <laughs> Everybody knows Palpatine was a pacifist. He didn't want war. Smashing the X button, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly. Nah. 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 He, one of his favorite lines is, and we shall have peace. He was for peace. Said so himself. Yes. Again. Sorry, I like, the, pal the, I like Palpy. The doubt button is being smashed. Oh, don't get me wrong. One of the greatest villains ever, but... Villains? I mean... Protagonist! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just me, me and DJ have a dis different philosophical bent. So... It... It is amazing, the uh, fleet names of Heavy Metal League. And, oh, yeah. and I maintain... This is why I, I think these are the, the the ones that get my MVP. The fact that they've just literally been writing a song I'm, with I'm, their fleet names. I'm still sad that that was not just an epic Rickroll. I, I, yeah, yeah, I can I can definitely see I, that. I would have gotten a good laugh yeah. out of that. Yep, that would have been a, it. Would have been good, but. Although, it would have been out of character, right? Because as much as we do love a good Rick roll, it, it's not really heavy metal, is it? Let's let's be honest. Nah, it's, it's um, Do a cover. I mean, that, that now, now we're cooking, right? No, I'm, Who would you have cover it? Sabaton. <laughs> It's an it's it's, it's an easy answer. But it, I'll no, 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 no. It's it's valid because at this point that song is history, and they, then they will do a mm -hmm. 
they will they will they will do a song about it because at this point it is most surely history. So now I'm thinking uh, there so, are already some heavy metal covers. This does not surprise me. Let's be honest. I, I need to ask Chad another question for the cities players out there because I I will fully well admit I am a weird gamer. I'm. I play everything on Iron Man mode. I, I I play Kerbal Space Program on Iron Man mode. I play RimWorld on Iron Man mode. And I love Iron Man mode because I love having to deal with the consequences of my actions. But when I played City Skylines, I just made like a silly dystopian nightmare of a city. I can't be the only one who made horrible cities and not just beautiful utopias, right? Um, I once made a city without any roads. In order to get anywhere else in the city, you had to get a train. Oh, I was about to say, you just had to walk there? So you made Stockholm? Um, so it, it, it had a lot of walkways, but um, it was a bunch of different islands. And in order to get from anywhere on one, like from anywhere from one island to another, you would have to take a train. And most of the time, what you'd need to do is get a train to our central train station island, where we had like 30 train stations. And then you could get a train from there to any other island. So you got two trains maximum to anywhere else in the city. Um, which was great in most cases, apart from like those few places where like you needed to get from an island that was practically next to each other. Uh, but instead of just being able to go from point A to point B, you needed to go like via C, which was a long way away. Um, but yeah, uh, really interesting. Obviously, heavily modded because you need to be able to build houses on non-roads and things like that but yeah fascinating to do nonetheless so when i play cities i make a dystopian nightmare and then when i play persian architect i make it a spa that's um that, that, that's I, I don't Why? know what it is about me if a game tells me to play a game a specific way i'm just gonna, i'm the kind of person who's like nope doing it the opposite out of spite fair enough I'm so, gonna make so, it, I'm gonna make it ten times harder, harder, and I'm doing it the wrong way. So, when you when you make it a dystopia, um, how how do you go about that? Like building lots of pollution, creating. Oh buildings yeah, you like and... you install the sewage outlets upstream in a dam, so there's just like a a sewage lake overlooking the town. Make it so that traffic is horrible. It takes forever to get anywhere. You're hurting my soul with these statements. Yep, my yep. min-maxing soul is not, in, not is, is crying out in pain. Not right? n not enough uh, like uh, utilities for people, so the power and the water's uh, uh, going on and off, or the uh, like the <laughs> there's not enough bus stops or train stations or anything like that. I'm a can, I'm a strange gamer. Can I'm you weird. see the pain in my face? Oh, see, that's the thing is when I'm because I like streaming. Uh, I think I said this before. I am both like a sadist and a masochist. I like the game to cause me pain, and then I like you guys to feel that pain through the camera. So that's that's that's, I, that's why whenever I'm playing everything, like difficulty all the way up, Iron Man mode on. Yeah, I I, I can see that being effective. Yeah. How come people um, don't just move out? <laughs> because I make it just tolerable enough to not bother. <laughs> <laughs> right on the edge. Sharing is caring. That goes for pain as well. Mm -hmm. And Network has said, so what you're saying is you essentially make Manhattan. I mean, it's not the worst comparison, is it? No, no. Um... There's no possible way this sewage lake dam can possibly go wrong. No, it's environmentally friendly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like, Just... I, I would love it if I could, uh, like, force everybody to watch me play, like, Iron Man Kerbal on the Paradox channel. Not that, that's, that, that we can do that, but that would, that is, like, for me, that's, like, peak the game causing me pain and, and then in turn causing you pain. Because you never know when your spaceship's just going to crack in half because of a bug, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Yep. I definitely had that happen to me uh, in uh, around Jewel. It was just a spaceship cracking and it split in half and exploded. <laughs> ah, I love that game. Oh, Ooh, or Darkest Dungeon. Oh, that's a good that that's that's a good game for a masochist. 
Darkest Dungeon is, is one of those games that I've looked at and gone, why do people put themselves through this? For fun! <laughs> um, like, uh, For the lulz! Another one that's similar, it's it's like at the moment, everyone's obviously super excited about Elden Ring, right? And this is one of those kind of cultural moments where everyone's playing the same thing and I'm sitting on the sidelines just like, not for me. So I will. I, I, I would love to join in, but now, not for me. I'm I'm going to cause Jimmy pain here, but I yeah. didn't I didn't know what that was until like three or four weeks ago. I had never heard of this. Ah, uh, okay. And then all of a sudden, everybody online was freaking out. Jimmy comes into work with an Elden Ring hat on, and I was like, "This game is big enough to have merch already? What the what's going on here? I never heard of it. Didn't know what it was." And then it came out, and everybody's like, ah, performance sucks. And I'm just like, oh, well, I don't know what it is still. <laughs> um, I, I'll admit, the last time I played any Sorry, Souls Jimmy. game... Sorry, Jimmy. The last time I played any Souls game was uh, the original one. Um, oh, that was just them completing the uh, project, of course. Um, so uh, Heavy Metal Inc. can build a Colossus now. Um... And uh, next up in Senate is declare human developer, human game developers the crisis. So we'll see where that goes. Are they actually going to do it? Well, I hope so. I mean, like, I, as someone who's been streaming for a while, I could keep the banter going for pretty much indefinite. But I would like to see some chaos. At the end of the day, it's what I'm here for, is chaos. So the, the human game developers from Earth, uh, of course, aren't a crisis. Whereas the empire that is proposing them as a crisis is, in, in fact, a crisis. Again, philosophical bent on life, but, you know, just throw those words I mean, in there. I mean, you, you can argue philosophical bent, but if, if, if you look in their traditions bit, they literally have a tab titled Crisis. Yeah, and uh, propaganda. <laughs> they leveled it up three yeah. times. Yeah, and, and they're, they're only, what, like six or seven hundred points away from level four. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's, it's probably fine that they are trying to push someone else being a crisis. Um, you know actually... Interestingly, the Commonwealth is still supporting that. Uh, so... They... They got their land back, but are now supporting turning them into a crisis. You know what I like about the crisis points? Is if mm -hmm. you take a giant laser and Death Star a planet, Yeah. that is less offensive to the galaxy than a parking ticket. How a parking ticket? Be in breach of galactic law, 160. Right. Destroy yep, yep, a world, yep, yep, yep. 150. <laughs> you... you, you you parallel parked your spaceship on the wrong side of the road. Galactic Sorry. evil blew up a planet. Uh, uh, we we have a a major <laughs> problem. Um, the Stellaris just crashed on my side. Does that would would, would we like to? Oh yeah, we could. <laughs> mm -hmm. If if maybe you would like to. Uh... Wait, are yeah. you still on Parsec? Do you still got control? I do. Okay. So if we want to switch over to my side of the galaxy over here, we're just going to stare at the L cluster. <laughs> ah, I don't, we're not going to do that. But uh, anyway. So I'm reloading. This is, this, this, is, this is fine. This is fine. It's funny, that because we're normally actually streaming. Like, we both have a computer we're in control of here. We're normally streaming DJ's computer, which is over here. And his is the only one that crashes, and mine's perfectly fine. I, 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 I don't But know. I mean... Honest, it's like honestly, there's not too much going on in the galaxy right now, so there's not too much to zoom in on. Color scheme feels yes, more chaotic because I have the um, the little factiony Mac mode off, so we can actually see the, the, the we can actually see the proper Elgate, the proper border gore. the proper Gorda, the Gorda boar. Yep, oh my that, gosh. Yep. I can Wait, England what, on it. What what was the what was the phrase you kept you there last week we were streaming you, were, you kept saying one phrase. Right, I, I can't it? remember. 
I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember what uh, yeah. it was either. Uh, attempting to rejoin. Yeah, we'll get you back in here. Yeah. We'll get you back in here. Uh, yeah, but fine. anyway, pretty the only thing that's changed in terms of the, the galaxy since we started here, if you came in late, is uh, there's been some sort of backdoor duplicity between the human game developers in the Commonwealth, and they have um, ceded the the border territories that have been you know you know contested in the last couple wars uh, back to the Commonwealth. So the Commonwealth has got their little appendix back. Uh, that's the only thing that's changed on the map since we started today, and that was done peacefully. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was. We were just bantering, and all of a sudden, it just kind of went boop, boop, boop. And uh, th so, the interesting thing about this is, um, as said, they're supporting. Uh, oh, and the cocoon and the Earth Dolphin Panic Wealth have just joined in supporting. Ha hang on. Hmm. What are, what are we hanging the oning? Earth Dolphin Panic. Oh no, of course they're in that. I got confused as to who was in which federation. It's oh fun. okay. Um, I, I I was like, aren't they in the same federation? Question mark. But no, they're not. Um, you know what? Those people are saying how they miss some of the old border gore. You know what? I honestly miss was the border gore created by border pressure. I honestly liked that system. You really are a sadist. Aren't I, you? I, I really am because you could really create some border gore CBs non-violently, and then just and then just play the the, the aggrieved party. Be like, oh, he was attacking before. I'm just sitting over here, you know, border pressuring. And what are you doing? And then people get yep. mad at you because you were focusing on border pressure and cut off a little of their systems and made their their borders hideous. But I, I, and the old I, striped systems where two empires were in the same system. Or I two forgot or about that. Yep. It was <laughs> vile. The real monster in the stream is not the crisis, it's the commentator. I am on board for that. And now that I'd just like to point out, guys, that now I, that I'm here in Stockholm, you get to deal with more of this game. <laughs> you get to deal with me all the time. So, uh... When I crashed, what we were trying to look at, uh, oh, we, we, we got asked in chat um, about the, uh, the the different Ascension perks that people have taken. So just a quick look through this, the human game developers. Um, I'll only uh, really say anything if they picked anything particularly interesting. Um, hello? Oh, do I don't need to close that before I swap. <laughs> Nefarious yeah. Brady. I'm not locked in here with you. Or you're locked in here with me. Exactly. So, again, Heavy Metal Inc. has taken the Crisis and the Colossus, Galactic Force Projection, and Defender of the Galaxy, interestingly. <laughs> um, what, are they going to defend it against themselves? Question mark. Uh, oh, uh, Hydrocentric for the Earth Dol Dolphin Panic World. That makes, that um, makes sense. Yep. Um... The Colossus Project has been taken by uh, the um, Commonwealth, uh, but we know that because they tried to and very, got very close to blowing up the human game developer's that, home world. That would have been such a beautiful coup if that had succeeded. I would have been so happy. It would have been wonderful. Um, so, uh, interestingly, the automated support unit has taken Nihilistic Acquisition. Which means if they get dragged into a war and they start bombarding planets, they can steal population, which is quite neat. Um, and the Church of Gains uh, has also taken the Colossus Project. So there you go. There's a quick look. Sorry about that, Ben. Uh, oh, you're a, fine. a very quick look at uh, uh, which of the uh, perks everyone's taken. So. Also, I'd like to point uh, out, go. we're creeping up on 800,000 fleet power on... Well, we're above 800,000 fleet power on Heavy Metal, but we're just about there on Human Game Developers. Yep. There's um, a lot of fleet power going out in the galaxy. Uh, the, human, the Heavy Metal Inc. are well above their naval cap. Uh, 
as are human game developers by about the same amount. So the uh, crisis score on the heavy metal is 4,280. So we're tier three, all just, just a little bit off of tier four for the yep. crisis. So they need 5,000 for crisis level four, then 10,000 for crisis level five. If they get to 10,000 at that point, <laughs> I think that's the right noise to make, isn't it? They get the death cubes at that point. I do like the Borg. The death cubes are scary. Um, they're very pretty, but they're very scary. Are they breaching any galactic laws? Uh, ooh, I don't they know. are not, no. Because aren't the only galactic laws passed right now about uh, robots, I think, right? Just looking to see if there's anything they... They could they could breach, like, voluntarily. Yeah. Um... I'm not seeing anything in the list. Oh. There you go. It is on the floor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pull that up on my side. Declare the human game developers from Earth a crisis put forward by the only empire in the galaxy that has declared themselves a crisis. So oh. there is enough votes on the, on the fence right now to swing it either way. <laughs> yep. And that's before we start getting favors involved. Mm-hmm. So, um, th this is going to be some riveting C-SPAN for the next few minutes. Yep. So, which way would you vote here? Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, I would support it just for chaos. Just for chaos and the, and the memes, you would support it. Oh, my God, yes. That's... that. <laughs> <laughs> me me and you have played multiplayer games together, yep, yep. DJ. No, 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 I, no, I, I, I don't do this. things that make sense. I do things for the lulls. <laughs> Especially in multiplayer games. Like, I, I'm the person in the multiplayer game who everybody else is looking at going, what the hell are they doing? Like, they think... So, like, like, like I play well enough so they think there's some grander strategic plan, but it's not. Nah, just, just screwing around for fun. So, what level do you have to leave... The, uh, what's it called? Um, what point do you have to leave the galactic community as the crisis? Is it level five? Oh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually personally hit level five in my playthroughs. It is level five, uh, Freaks just said in chat. So, if, oh, is that what they're doing here? So this war would allow them to get to level five, wouldn't it? Uh, if they murder enough things. There's plenty to murder Ooh, yeah. because, of the, because of the destroy enemy ships goal. Mm -hmm. um, Is it five points you... per ship? Because you can uh, really farm. <laughs> I, I, I believe so, yeah. Someone shows They've up. got 570 from that already. If they go to war with the human game developers and wipe their fleets, um, they'll hit level five in no time. Let's see. Let's go over the human game developers. What are their? What's their fleet comp look like? Um, if I remember rightly, they've been going with battleships. Um, one of which is a carrier ship, and one of which is an artillery ship. Uh, interestingly, they've got dragon scale armor. Um, so they've got level 6 armor, but they don't have the level 6, sh uh, like the level 6 shields. Uh, they have got Dark Matter thrusters, but they haven't got the Dark yeah. Matter shields or Dark Matter, uh, power plants. But yeah. they have managed to blag thrusters from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so they, they got a lot of fleets, almost all battleships, so that, that, they, I mean, like, a because it's a flat number... You know, like a Corvette spam fleet would just farm really well. So, and meanwhile, what's Heavy Metal Link's fleets uh, made up of? Uh, da, 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 uh, there's, just FYI, there's no one left on the fence, and it is uh, in favor of no at the moment. 
Interesting. But it looks like the numbers are still shifting, so people are still trying to uh, garner uh, voting power. So the fleet the uh like the the, the fleet um the heavy metal link has is a lot more uh mixed um a lot more corvettes and that sort of thing in their fleet mix mm -hmm. um and obviously lots of menacing car uh, destroyers and corvettes actually something to look at uh da -da 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 -da. No, it's not in there. Do you have to go through crisis? Ooh, what just happened? Oh. It just, did it just, I was, I was only half paying attention. Did it just fail? I think it just failed. Oh, yep. Uh, Lady Travestine ended it early. Because I, I was, has failed. I was watching the votes going up and down, and I wasn't watching the, 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 the clock. And then it, it just went away. The half, yeah, it got to the halfway point, and because there's a custodian, the custodian ended Killed it immediately. It. Yeah. Yep. And so it's failed. So that little plan of heavy metal links uh, has not gone to plan. That's a um, shame. Well, I wonder what they'll do now, because there is still the Silicron continuity, um, which is another fallen empire. Um... I don't even know what they are. Uh, they are nestled between the Panic Wealth and the Automated Support Unit. Oh, okay. Yeah, the little spider webby guys. Yeah. Um, they could attack them, or they could go after the Church of Gains. Um, does the Church of Gains have any diploma like diplomatic deals with anyone? Uh, any defensive pacts? Nope, no defensive pacts. So, yeah, Church of Gains is... It probably where they'll have to move towards now if they want to go on with the crisis tree. If. Yeah. Um, I assume they will. So what's going to be next in the the community? Well, Minor like... research sanctions, really. Oh, pff. who put that forward? The Church of Gains. How do minor seek research sanctions help gains? A anyone in chat got a theory as to how this helps gains? Um. How, how? Okay, so how does being in breach of galactic law work? Is it do you do you get points for doing it once, or do you get points for like every month you're in breach? I believe it's as long as you are in breach, it will give you the the points. So. And you only get them once. Okay, so is my understanding. So less brains, more muscles. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Oh no! Apparently, it is every month. Because if it's every what, month, does it, does it add it every month? Because that would make more sense to me. Is you get you would get the points for continuously breaking the law. But if it's 160 every month, you'd get up to 10,000 in no time, wouldn't you? Um, and their number would be going up. Oh, no, it wouldn't, because they're not in breach. Ignore me. No, it only takes 62 months. That's not long at all to get to 10,000. That can't, that, no, that, yeah, hmm, no, that's, that, that's, yeah, that'd be yeah. way too much. If it's per year, that may, okay, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm still uh, in EU4 maybe. brain. Yeah. I'm on EU4 brain. Everything happens on a monthly tick. But if it was every year, that would make sense. Yeah. One of those ones where there's so much in Stellaris, and there's bits that you do once, and then you're like, cool, I've done that. And it's not really my play style, so I'm not going to do it again. And I love that Crisis Empires happen in my galaxy, but I... It's just not my playstyle to go after the crisis thing. Uh, the hover over tooltip in the crisis menu should show you. That's actually a valid point. I should have thought of that. Uh, duh, 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 being breached galactic law. Um, oh, it, it, yep. It's annual. So, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. So, every year, 160. So, you... 
you would theoretically have to be illegally parallel parked for like 11 months accruing parking tickets before you were equally as evil as someone who blew up a planet. I mean... If you were taking up a... Oh, I guess it's where that parking space... If it was a parking space in Stockholm, yeah, no, uh, that tracks. <laughs> Having vassals also gives you crisis points, yep. Um... Revive the groupies. But, Revive the groupies for crisis points. Yes. I'm down that, for that. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. God, I forgot about the groupies. It will be interesting to see what they decide to do. Because they have had their... They put the Military Readiness Act up. They've had their, their big shot at getting their crisis points easily shot down. Um, and so, yeah, they've got to be a bit cleverer about it now, or just punch the church's uh, games. I was about to say, or, or go the complete opposite direction and just punch someone and hope that they can farm enough points before the galaxy starts hitting them back too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Also, it's... their fleet power is now nearing a million. So far, the galaxy has been pretty good at, well adjusting their stance so the status quo is maintained. Although, no matter how hard they try and maintain the status quo, I will point out that there is a crisis in, a, in seven years, or due in around seven years. One million fleet power. That is... That is Using, using that reference is aging you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're as old as I am. Uh, yeah, quite. I, I understand that reference, and it made me feel old. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Heavy Metal Inc. is going to move over a million fleet power, and it's only a 1.5 times crisis, so I think what's going to happen when the crisis turns up is... Um, we're going to feel a little bit sorry for the crisis. It's going to get squeezed. Just very, very squeezed. Renting, renting DVDs ages you as well. That's not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we went to the Blockbuster on Fridays. And we liked it. Don't. If you think renting DVDs ages you, when I was a kid, we didn't rent DVDs. We rented videotapes. Um, oh, oh yeah, there was there was a place in my small town I grew up that where you could rent a um, like you, you could rent whole gaming systems and they had regular yeah. Nintendos. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember when the PlayStation came out. That was a big thing. Like when the when the original PlayStation came out, renting PlayStations in England was a, a big thing. Uh, VHS versus Betamax. Every, everybody, uh, uh, age yourself in chat. <laughs> yeah. I, one of the ones that hurt my soul the other day, uh, and it goes around every now and then, and every time it goes around and I see it, it hurts my soul all over again, is the one where a teacher is like, I had a student ask me why I had 3D printed the save icon. Oh, it's yeah. Disc. It's a floppy disk, yeah. Um, and you're just like, that hurts. See what what's that e really what's, hurt. what's what, what's even worse about that is that's not a floppy disk. That's a dis that, that that's a diskette. A floppy disk are the ones that are like this big. Yeah, right. They they were what I had originally. Yes, I have um, I've written programs on like a, what is it like eleven and a quarter inch floppy disks. Uh, yep. Cheat codes in the scrap of paper. Although even older than that. Um, there used to be magazines you could get which had the code for a game in them and you had to copy the code from the magazine onto your little computer and, and then you'd get a terrible game at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I remember playing uh, I was so hard up for video games when I was a kid because my parents hated video games and now I work for a video game company. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, they always tried to drive me away from playing games and I remember being so hard up I, I got really into playing like the game that came in the box of Czech cereal it was like a little, little like space shooter that got on a uh, on like a, a on a disc that came with a box of cereal. 
So, little game thing that's just happened. Uh, brief update on the game world, quickly. Uh, as noted in chat, FurCAD, the system with the gateway in uh, the human game developers um, that the Commonwealth owned, has swapped back to the human game developers. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know what I do miss, though, is really good, like, special editions for, for physical copies of, uh, of games. They used to, Some companies used to make real nice physical copies. My favorite one I ever got was the Fallout 4 one, where uh... you got the pit boy that you could put your phone into. And then they had an app so that you could actually use the, the phone as your pit boy in game. And it weirdly could turn Fallout 4 into this, like multiplayer almost multiplayer thing where you'd sit there with one of you doing the controller and the other one would be sitting there with the the yep. uh pip boy and be able to do things like stim packs and whatnot on the fly yeah it was great absolutely I great got, i got the collector's edition of fallout 3 when it came out uh yep. i worked at gamestop back then got an the one with the metal lunchbox a little metal lunchbox with yeah, a with yeah. the bo pip boy bobblehead in it i still have yep. that it's sitting on the top of my bookshelf right now I still got the little bobblehead in the lunchbox. Yep. Or, yeah, I've um, got that one as well. You know, it was one of the best collector's editions I've ever bought. The game doesn't even exist anymore, but it was the uh, Warhammer Online collector's edition. It's beautiful. Um, hang on. Something's happening. Order of Our Lady Trappist just moved all of their fleets onto the border. Situation log updated. With oh, no. Not all of them. No, th no, they they moved all yeah they've moved all their fleets, but it's onto the border with heavy metal ink. Hey, they're, they're holding one back. It's a small fleet though, so they may um, have just missed it. Ah, uh, yeah, heavy metal and trappist have moved their fleets, but not sure why. If I'm honest with you. Trying to work out what they're doing. Uh, Situation log. Update. Not certain. I just accidentally found a bug, but whatever. Uh, my, minor, minor, no big deal. It's just a visual one. No, I am, I am genuinely uncertain as to what Trappist is doing moving their fleets there. I don't think a war is about to kick out, but we will see. Who, who is winning? Well, if we're going by fleet power, it's uh, Heavy Metal Inc., uh, according to the victory score, the human game developers from Earth are in first, with Order of Our Lady Trappist in second and Heavy Metal Inc. in third. And uh, here are the breakdowns. And, and forgive me for one second, but I'm wearing wool, and it is way too hot in here for that. Uh, DJ stole my shirt. That's my shirt. No, no, my shirt. No, no, my shirt. I've had this one for years. Years and years and years. So do we think there's going to be some uh, s some conflict here? Because Order of Lady Trappist uh, does have 700,000 fleet power. It's, it's what is, is that third, fourth in, the gal fourth in the galaxy now? Fourth now, yeah. They're getting, up there, they're getting up there. Yeah, the Commonwealth. <laughs> has become very powerful as well. It's, um... The thing is, will the Galactic Custodian help to defend their Federation, mate, the Heavy Metal Incorporated? Hmm. That's a good question. What is Heavy Metal... Has Heavy Metal Inc. built their Colossus yet? And if so... What are they doing? Colony there? established. Okay, so uh, just just FYI, in the Senate right now, we're voting on Military Readiness Act, which is, I mean, right now is basically diplomatic weight from fleet power plus forty percent. 
and that's put forward by Heavy Metal Inc., which would give them a huge boost in, in voting potential, considering they have one of the biggest fleets. Ah, oh, hang on. Are uh, they trying to crack planets inside their own empire for crisis score? And I don't think uh, Does doing that work? it to I don't think doing it to uninhabited worlds works. No. No, they haven't gotten any more points. No. Although the Colossus model on uh, the Necroid Colossus model is absolutely stunning. It looks like it's going to stab a planet. Oh yeah, no, it's cool looking. L literally. <laughs> no, no, it's it, it's it's pretty cool looking. You know what's a shame is what I, I the the thing with Stellaris is I always like the beginning in the the early in the middle game, and then I a lot of times I end up like losing interest as it gets to late game. So like one in four of my playthroughs of Stellaris might get to the point where I actually get those. So Heavy Metal have just said, with the lack of party mode in the galaxy, the Heavy Metal Incorporated has resorted to blowing up backwater planets within our borders for fireworks. <laughs> it's just a light show. They they did get some points just now, but it went up like five. So what did they blow up? Purge of a, or simulate pops is five per. That might be what they're doing. They got well, they destroyed one more enemy ship somewhere, but again, that's only five. Yeah. They're clearly trying to get crisis points without going full on galactic conquest. My guess they're is that they're sneakily. yeah. My guess is they're trying to at least hit level four before they get into a shoot and fight. I mean, Definitely that's what I would be trying to do it sneakily. That's what I would be doing is surreptitiously trying to hit level four if we're going to get into a shooting fight with somebody. How's Gain still alive? I would go with diplomacy. Is keeping them aligned and 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 um. No, I I feel like a lot of the the players right now are hesitant to pull the trigger on a galactic war because so far whenever. Player Wars have started. It's never stayed localized. It's always just unraveled and pulled everybody else in. And then when you get to that point, everybody's just looking for an out. It's... Yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'll be honest. I mean, Heavy Metal Inc. have gotten to a million fleet power. But they're not using it. No. No. It, uh, obviously, like we talked about before, it's a purely defensive crisis. Does not compute. Hey, you can't. <laughs> you, there, there's, they have not done anything terribly nefarious since taking the crisis. So, given the lack of, you know, offensive conflict, it is a defensive crisis. Crisis and and until proven otherwise, you can't say it's not. They're not. They they, they aren't. Uh, I mean, what's that, it called in anyone? That is they, something not, I would do though. Is just take the crisis just to keep people on their toes. You never know when I might go off. You're a mean, mean person. Uh, so don't don't you remember the story I told about paying players ten thousand ducats a piece to fight each other for lulls? Yeah. So the the military readiness act is gonna pass, unsurprisingly. No, Interestingly, the only person voting against it is the Galactic Custodian. Uh, but next up is the Galactic Defense Force. Which would allow uh, Order of Our Lady Trappistine to build even more fleet and not have to pay any money for it. Uh, which is quite good. Um, so take the crisis with no plan to get to level 5 ever. Problem is, they'll surely end up getting there one way or the other, right? Interestingly, uh, 
the Earth Dolphin Panic Wealth has taken over uh, Heavy Metal Inc. in school now. Oh, yeah. Despite having a far smaller fleet, lower pops, everything like that, yeah, they've they've taken them over. See, there's or overtaken a, them. So there's other people in chat who are just saying things like, "Yes, I am also an agent of chaos." So I'm not. I'm not the yeah. only one. I'm not the only one. I, I, I. Hmm. You hurt my min maxing soul, all of you. Yes. I, I just want you to know that. I, I spent a, <laughs> I spent a lot of my early paradox gaming min maxing the hell out of everything, and eventually I got bored and just wanted to do weird things. To be fair, I I min max within boundaries. It, it it always tends to be you know, play the empire that I'm playing and and then try and make it as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, like I will sometimes min max a specific game element. Like when like go go back to you for a min max like money so that I could have enough money to pay other players to fight each other for my entertainment. But then my mili my, my like my own country was like had no military because I, I put everything into, into funds. And if anybody wanted to come over and punch me in the face, they wouldn't have any trouble doing it unless I had enough money to pay them not to, which honestly got me to the end of the game. Yeah, it's a perfectly viable strategy. But just, strategy. just, 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 just been maxing that one thing. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, there's a good question. What are your favorite ethics in Stellaris? You're a much more uh, experienced player. You want to go first? So for me, it's egalitarian. Everyone hates it, and so I adore it. Uh, I tend to quite often enjoy playing sort of anti-meta builds and things like that. And um, building ridiculously strong egalitarian empires is one I always enjoy. I um, was going to go with fanatical pacifist. <laughs> Oh man! I've actually been doing some runs as fanatic pacifist or um, uh, recently. Oh, sorry, go. No, oh, I was gonna say there's if I'm playing multiplayer Stellaris, there's two things I like to do, and that would be to make sure that I have every single configuration of species in my empire, so my pie chart looks like chaos, or uh uh turtle down so hard my it, and, and then and then poke other players but make it basically impossible to invade my planets so they either have to uh accept that my cockroach species is there forever or blow it up yeah yeah um uh, another one that i i've been really enjoying lately is playing with the um permanent employment civic that megacores have access to now um having zombie clerks is just wonderful and i like to imagine the world where like you go down to your local supermarket and then everything's being bagged up by a zombie you mm -hmm. know somebody actually just said so you play the swiss the last time i played multiplayer uh victoria 2 i played as switzerland played the whole game never changed my borders all i did was sit in my mountain and <laughs> my like mountaintop retreat and manipulate like the markets of the world and start like proxy wars all over the place it was i i didn't change my borders one single time and it was delightful so with uh, the the people are talking about the, the sort of pacifist meme in stellaris at the minute one of the things that i found at the moment is um there's a, a really interesting build where you can reduce the sprawl from populations by such a ridiculous amount, um, but it does need the the it, it does mean that you're going to need to um, uh, run fanatic pacifist. Um, interestingly, heavy metal Inc. has actually lost some fleet. I wonder if that's refitting ships. Yeah, because it, it's it's like ticking up and down. I think they're just refitting. Yeah. I assume that is the case. Um, but human game developers isn't quite keeping up anymore. Interestingly, the Commonwealth has now got uh, an advantage over the human game developers fleet-wise. Yeah, but they've been so... The, the, the human game developers voluntarily gave them some of their systems back, so I don't think there's going to be a conflict on that border again. It seems yeah. like it's all copacetic. Um, 
So where I, where's the conflict going to happen then? Everything well, everything's well, so peaceful. Well, so you say that. Uh, I, I had some quiet conversations with the diplomats of the Commonwealth last week, and I'm not anywhere near as confident on the uh, peacefulness of that border as you are. Just going to put it that way. Well, uh, Mr. I have insider information. I mean, I'm sorry. I, it, was, it was just something that was idly mentioned to me. And, you, you know. should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not confident that that border is peaceful. I'm going to be very honest with you, Ben. <laughs> See, I, I'm so on the fence with dev clashes right now. I want to play in them so badly, which I can now because I, I'm internal. But I also love casting them. <laughs> uh, I would um, I would love to play in one just to be a internal agent of chaos, but I also love casting it. So either, either way, I'm happy at the end of the day. As long as there's chaos, I'm happy. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I just want to see the galaxy burn. Um, are any borders um, really peaceful? There are several borders in the ga game that have been entirely peaceful since the Empire's first contact, and have not changed a bit. Yeah, I mean, look at the the border between uh, Our Lady Trappistine and everyone around them. Um, there, there's been no war up there. Yeah. I don't believe the horticulturalists have ever lost any territory. It's it's like the the the, the top sort of right corner yeah. of the galaxy has been quite peaceful, and then everything else has just been chaos. Yeah, the area that's had the most change has been um, uh, uh, like well, I have opposite sides of the galaxy, galactic um, like northwest and southeast. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, also, um, the the uh, it's just been pointed out we are really creeping up on Endgame now. Uh, it is only one year until the first possibility for the Endgame Crisis to spawn. What are the odds of the Endgame Crisis spawning on on it, exactly the first year? Do you know what the mean time date is? Fairly low. Fairly low. Uh, I don't know the exact, but it's it's unlikely. It okay. doesn't happen very often. Watch watch it happen. Here. Um, Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, I would be very okay with it. Um, although, I, I so the worst one I ever had, I, um, I, I played a game where I decided I was going to actually do a full galaxy conquer for once. And uh, by about year 150... I'd conquered the galaxy, and uh, oh, there you go. Church of Gains have uh, can now build a Colossus. Um, I conquered the galaxy, and I had uh, um, about a hundred years because it used to be fifty years until you could possibly spawn the end game. I had about a hundred years at minimum to really prepare for the end game crisis. So I sat there and you know made all my planets efficient and just started building out ridiculous number of fleets and everything like that. And then we hit the end game date, and five years passed, 10, 15, 20. Uh, in the end, I ended up playing uh, 240 years before the end game crisis. Oh my god. <laughs> because it's, it is random, right? And I'm the, the person that got that really, really bad role where, yeah, 240 years of just waiting and waiting and waiting. And, and, oh, yeah. Uh, um, when I was my my last game of, of uh, EU four, I was playing. I was uh, playing Hawaii into the United States, which is a uh, an achievement run. And I got a uh, there's a rare event that fires if you're playing Hawaii, where you could find like a dwarf species of human like living on the islands. I can't remember what it was called. What it's called. But mean time to hit is six hundred months, and it fired in the first like three years of the game. Super lucky. But there's only a 1 in 20 chance of you getting the positive outcome. And then I got the positive outcome. The positive outcome is uh, plus 1 to all Monarch uh, skill points for the entire rest of the game. Woo! That's super good. And then my Monarch died, and I was like, okay, so at least I'll get plus 1 to all the my other Monarch points. And I rolled a 2-2-1 two, two, leader, which uh, basically means before... The, uh, the 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 modifiers that I got, which were super unlucky, which were super lucky to get, I rolled a one one zero liter, so I I basically still rolled almost as worse as I could possibly get, and that gentleman lived 
into his 90s. So even with that super, super unlucky series of events uh, popping in my favor, I still managed a really, really terrible leader for a good, like, fifth of the game. Nice. Yeah. Um, See, I'm Magnus. <laughs> so, Heavy Metal Link's back over a million. And the Commonwealth's about to hit a million. Oh, if you're, you're four players out there, Hawaii's a fun run. A lot of things you can do because you're centrally located in the Pacific. You can go in either direction. Fun playthrough. So, what? What? how does that work with sailing technologies? Uh, or am I thinking too much like Civ here? Probably thinking too much like Civ. Um, yep. Yep. If you <laughs> if you focus really hard on Diplo and um, uh, get some uh, some good appropriate events firing, you can get enough colonial range to get to North America really really early, and then and then basically just start at California and gobble up North America, or you can just go the other way. Go to the Spice Islands and make a fortune by gobbling those up before the Europeans get there. But you you have enough colonial range as Hawaii to go either direction and have a good gameplay. So it lets you have a lot of choice. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you want to, you could even go down to, like, New Zealand, Australia, set up, like, a colonial empire down there. So you, you, you know how we pointed out that the, uh, the Commonwealth has big fleets? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're slightly destroying their economy to do so. They're losing 592 energy a turn and 204 updated. minerals a turn at the minute. Uh, ugh, ugh. Mm. Yeah, no, they can't keep that up for too much longer. That's 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 a, a major ouch, right? Well, yeah, they're going to have to oh, start throwing... What what do they have to trade? What, what do they have to trade with? What have they run out of? Well, what just happened to their fleet? The only thing they have in abundance is alloy. Is, their fleet just dropped from nearly a million to 600,000. What did they do? But their economy is still terrible, so that must have been a... Unless at the end of this month their economy suddenly bounces. Nope. Yeah, because when they did that, their economy got slightly worse, so it's not like they got rid of ships. They must have been reconfiguring them? Maybe they're rock, paper, scissoring their fleet to fight a specific foe? Really, really not sure. Updated. I honestly don't know either, because that was a good, what, 35% of their fleet power they dropped off? Yeah. yeah they, they could sell food, but, I mean, food doesn't have a super high value. Alloys do, but alloys, you generally, if you're, go if you're going to war, you're going to want to keep a good uh, stockpile of those sitting around. Yeah, they're already selling 186 consumer goods. And they are out of energy now. Out, out, and haven't... And now their fleet's dropped to 273k fleet power. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the foot to fall, see what's going on, see what they're going to do. Nope, nothing happened that month. But food is, food is tasty. Oh, there, there. There's some chocolate out in the, in the little waiting room right outside there. And I missed lunch oh. today. Ugh. Oh... That's that's always a bad thing. I had I had meetings like sandwiched directly around like lunchtime, so I couldn't like go out. I'll just eat a big dinner when I go home. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so they've sold a little bit, but that's still only they've only sold enough to keep them solvent yeah, yeah. for three months. Yeah, I, um, it's an interesting position they have put themselves into. I mean, is it is it possible they just weren't looking at their economy that closely and overbuilt? I'm really not sure. They seem to have rebuilt their battleships to be full medium weapons as well. Mediums with a, a hangar on them. Yeah, almost their entire uh, consumption on energy is just straight into the fleet. It feels like they're rebuilding against Heavy Metal Inc. That's a possibility, bro. Maybe they had a, a deal cancel or end. Um, they are over their fleet cap, but only by a little bit. A not, little bit. not enough to really write home about. 
What are they like? No, I, I, I do wonder if perhaps, especially seeing the way they've refitted their battleships, if they're getting ready to fight the Crisis Empire. Yeah, they're selling, uh, they've been selling food to pay to pay for batteries. Colony established. Um, speaking of our Crisis Empire, well, they've right. got a few more points. 4,310 now. So they, they have got a few more points. Uh, they're also uh, nearly a thousand over their navy cap now. Um, I mean, edicts. Uh, they are running zero edicts. Really? None. Who's this? The uh, look at Commonwealth. it, Commonwealth. Yeah. Yep. No edicts. Yeah. No. They're running. They're yeah. They're running absolutely none. None at all. Colony established. One way they could really help themselves right now, they've got the unity. Yeah. Oh, uh, switch back to Ben, please. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, oh, we were looking clicking. at the same. We were looking at the it's same the, thing. Yeah, it's it's the clicking of the unity button that apparently does it uh, occasionally. Yeah, so um, the, we, the, literally not a single. So, you know, the ones that are important would be the subsidies right now. And they can afford to turn on three at the moment. Oh, well, actually, no, I thought it said 900. No, they can afford to turn on pretty much anything they want. So. Yeah, what I would do is if you go down to the ambitions at the bottom, the first thing I would do would be to turn on um, uh, in the edicts menu, if yeah, you scroll yeah. to the bottom of the edicts. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I, thought you meant, I, uh, I thought you meant at the bottom yeah, of the yeah, menu there. I was yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, if they took Omniferous Acquisition and Grand Fleet from those two, uh, Grand Fleet will increase their navy caps so that they're within their navy cap, which will help. Um, and then Omniferous Acquisition will probably put their minerals into the positive as well. Yeah, it's plus 33%. That would do them. Yeah. Um, and then alongside that, I'd do um, capacity overload or capacity subsidies or whatever it's called. Technician output um, 50%. Yeah. Uh, that would help with the energy output. Um but look, they're, they're, they're they've sold. Okay, so they've got enough batter. They got enough double A's sitting around in the junk drawer to keep them going for a little while. But that's what they just keep doing. They just keep going to uh, Class Olsen and buying more packs of those big packs of double A's. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the, the, this is the closed beta version, everybody, which is almost certainly why I'm having crashing issues. Uh, yeah, hot code, friends. Hot code. Hot code is all the fun. But let's pop out of here real quick. Yeah, not much else happening in the galaxy right now. <laughs> the recharger people. Yeah, I know. Every just 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 every once in a while they go to, they they walk down the road to the 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 compact class Olsen over by by Paradox. They buy one of those big bricks of double A's and they they just pull those out of the drawer until they're ready to go. Uh so here we go. Go to Radio uh, Shack, guys. Is there a Radio Shack in Sweden? Uh, I doubt it. So, everybody, uh, apparently the last poll was broken. Uh, please do join in with the vote for the MVP Empire. So, this is to vote for your favoritist empire. Uh, ben and I have had our say. We, we, we've said who we think uh, we would vote for. Are we allowed to vote, Ben? Uh, I, I don't have chat open on my computer right now, so it would just be a pain in the ass and it would probably annoy Nurgle if I was, start, if I Got started you. tabbing out of things and clicking on stuff. And I, um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to tab out of things or click on stuff. So. No, no, I can understand that. Uh, I'll do, I can, yeah, do, I'll do it on your, here, I'll come over here. I'll do it on your computer. What? No, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll, me I'll mess with the other one. I'll leave mine good. Oh dear. So um, it, it, yeah. So are you sticking with your vote? Who did I vote for hey, before? Hey, you, 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 <laughs> were <saying laughs> you, you were saying the QA call. You were saying the QA call. Yeah, yeah. I I I think I will stay with QA core because while heavy metal has taken the crisis, QA core took it first. They were they were yeah, the original. Yeah. Oh, so what you're saying is heavy metal ink are just bad impersonators. Yeah, 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 yeah. QA Core was doing it before it was cool. 
Got you, got you. See? They were willing to take a chance on the crisis before it was it was it was trendy. I was I was with heavy metalink, but I'm not so much anymore. They they've not done anything. Have if you're they? if you're gonna be swigging around a million fleet power, go hit someone with it. Right? They've they've done nothing. Like we've only um, gotten to see a couple, like you know, like massive light show space battles so far. Yeah, I. I, I I'm, so, I'm, so if yeah, you're, I don't think if you vote for them at this, if point. you're drifting off of heavy heavy metal, sorry, Pontus, uh, yeah. where where are we going instead? What are we doing? Who are we thinking? I think it's got to be Trappist at that point. Because and of I think their that the, the gong, the uh, no, the gong. I'm oh, gonna be honest oh, with you. Bong. The gong. Yep, yep. I, um, I really think we need it. We need a gong for this streaming studio. Not not a big one. Just a little. Just a little gong. I, I think that this this stream has proved that, has it not? Like, well, I, I, it was I, definitely I mean, improved by gong. I also think we need like a, a like an array of costumes to wear while we're streaming as well, but. I mean, all, all the things I want to do is because I'm doing them with live content's budget. <laughs> um, so everyone, do take part <laughs> in the vote. Um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going there. Uh, <laughs> so everyone, do take part in the vote. There is a straw poll in chat. Um, vote and let us know who you oh, think. Oh, is it in chat? Is it not over on the side? No, it's not over on the side. <laughs> I was I was going like this before because I thought it was over in this direction. No, I'm just no, pointing. No, I'm just pointing. You were nothing. pointing at chat. You were pointing at chat, so you did really well. Okay. 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 Oh, that worked out yeah, well. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. You good. You good. Accidentally good. successful. Woo. <laughs> it's probably fine. Um. And Henry Wong has a really good point. Mm. Heavy Metal Incorporated is making ships out of rocks instead of metal. They have betrayed their core values. How can anyone support them? And do you know what? I think you're right, Henry. They have betrayed Heavy Metal for soft rock. That is that is a truth fact. Yep, yep. And I, I don't think that's okay, is it? Really? Um, so, yeah, I, I think it can't be Heavy Metal Inc. And, yeah, if, if it's not Heavy Metal Inc., it's, it's Trappist for me. Because so, I, I, yeah, like I say, because so, the gong. So, but between, so, but of the things we've discussed so far, it's basically QA Core, Heavy Metal, and Trappistine. Just, just not, yeah. not, you know, no official things, just spitball in between are out me and... They're personal favorites, yeah. so, right? So, chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. of those three... Which, which one do you think, which one would you guys go for of those three that we've just discussed? Just, 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 just and blue, 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 doodle it out in chat there. And to add to that, has anyone got any really good arguments about why it should be anyone else? No. Yeah, you know, just, you never know. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Uh, immediately, someone straight with QA. Um, Rock and stone to the bone. And and it, it no, I'm I'm sorry. People are going on about well, they, 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 it's hard rock or 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 they're, they're, it's rock and roll. Yeah, but they're not rock and roll incorporated, are they? They're heavy metal incorporated, and and rock just isn't metal. They literally betrayed their own like faith. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're 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 getting older and and they they don't have the metal in their soul anymore and and now you know. You so, go to, you go to see them in concert and the energy is just not there. Yeah, yeah, and and they're starting to release ballads. Yeah, the they they they, they released a new album and it was it and it was it was fifty percent ballads and fifty percent like poorly written kind of like story talkity songs and you're just like. You just, just wish that they go back to the glam era, right? Just play Don't Stop Believing because that's what we're all here for. Yeah, right. I, um, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I may have been talking from personal experience there. But no, I I, 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 I couldn't agree more, to be honest with you. They're, they're, they've gone soft on us. Um, yep. 
I'm, I'm, I'm just not a soft rock person, I'm afraid. This lame is Metallica. <laughs> uh, I, I once saw Metallica, and they were amazing. Because their drummer couldn't play, so we got the drummer Ooh. from... Do we, oh. de do we desync? I don't know. Um... I... Something happened, everybody. We're not sure what yeah, at the moment. Yeah, we don't, we don't know what's going on here. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, I, I once saw Metallica, um, and the drummers uh, that played for them were the drummer from Slayer and the drummer from Slipknot. And it was astonishing. It was a um, download in the uh, a festival called Download in the UK. Uh, did 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 all the uh, do we all desync? Do the players go too? Do we know. I, 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 I'm assuming. I don't know. I am if, assuming, but I do not know. If me um, and you both went, I'm assuming that everybody went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We'll, we'll we'll see what we can do. How much time? We got nine, just under half an hour left. Ninety minutes in here. Time just flies. Yeah. It really does with these, don't they? Yeah. It, it, it's astonishing how how quick it, it goes. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So so back on back back on topic though. So I went to see Journey when I was like 16 years old, <laughs> and it was just all new <laughs> stuff. It's like I came here to see. I, I, I was like, "Wheel in the sky, separate ways. Don't stop believing." In any way you want. That's what I came here to see. I don't want to sit around through an hour of your ballads, fake Steve Perry. Come on. I always described myself as a semi-professional internet clown, but given the fact that I now have, like, a studio around me, co-workers who are hitting all the buttons, that's, 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 that's professional. It is. Uh, it may well be that they're starting in slowest to let it take over a little bit before... Are you being paid for it? Normal for the, I'm on, uh, desync. I am on Sorry. the clock, so yes, I am being paid to be here for this. <laughs> yes, yeah, we, we, we are being paid for this, so that does make us professionals. Boom. It, yeah, um, there you have it, everybody. It's official. The only worse uh, that they bring you coffee on demand. I, I bet if I asked nicely, and, and I actually was like really dragging, and, and I was like, hey guys, can you get me a cup of coffee or something like that? I bet I could get a, a, an arm to just pop in from the side here and like hand off a cup of coffee or something like that. But if, if chat was like, only if you do it to make them your your vassals or something like that, I'd, they'd probably be like. Yep, yep. But I'm I'm good right now. I had I, I had a nice cup of tea from my, from my Paradox branded mug here before we before we popped in, so I'm good. But I, and like, like, like seriously though, if, if, if like I was like real dragon ass and we had a long way to go, if we were doing like a, a EU4, uh, like Grandis Land and it was like a 12 hour stream, oh yeah, yeah, no, they would, they, they would help out. <laughs> the Llama Tick going straight for my soul. Don't blame DJ for being three seconds behind. Old age slows us all down in the end. Who, who's older? I, 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 apparently I'm old. How, how old are you? 36? I mean, I'm not that old. I don't... How old am I? Um, I need my wife here. She keeps track of that stuff. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Leah, are you in chat? If you're in chat, remind me how old I am. It's around there. I, I'm genuinely struggling these days to remember how long my wife and I have been together. It's either 17 or 18 years this year, and I can't remember which. Uh, for me, it's 12. A long time. 12. 12 years. So that that but, I remember. Yeah. That was uh, that, that that arguably is more important, right? Yeah. No, no. Um, I, I like after you know, from an American point of view, after you turn twenty one, it doesn't matter how old you are. There's there's no yeah. there's no more there's no more milestones to hit that allow you to do things. So you just yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. I, to be honest, I find it weird that in America that's twenty one. Yeah. You know what's funny? Yeah. You can, you can join the military, buy cigarettes. And pornography at 18, but you cannot drink till 21. You cannot rent yep. a car until you're 25. Actually, no, that one's true in the UK as well, I think. I think 25? it's really to rent a car. I think so, yeah. But you, think you so. could sign away your life for hundreds of thousands of dollars for student loans at 18, but you can't rent a car until you're 25. Yep. The world is weird. <laughs> hey, I, I live in Sweden now. Things are more sane here. So, I, I was going to say, should we look at what's going on in the game? But 
the answer is... Nothing's changed! <laughs> nothing? Uh, at this I, point? I mean, the... the... Heavy metals back up to a mill? <laughs> yeah, I... Mm. Uh... Oh, I, I, I just thought of a good, a good segue there. So speaking of living in Stockholm now, we just restarted the Life at Paradox Instagram account, which is uh, we hand the, the account off every week to different members of the Paradox staff, and they just kind of, you know, post about their day-to-day -day life and where they live and what they do and, and you know, uh, life, at par life at Paradox. Ha ha. Uh, and I, despite some bugs in the app, managed to actually log into it today. So I'll have it this week. So m mine is mostly going to be posting pictures of my, my four pets. So yeah, if you like dogs, life of paradox. The Church of Gaines is not being guaranteed nefarious. Um, and, and, uh, it has definitely gotten calmer since the QA core died, hasn't it? Um, the galaxy's been a much more stable place since QA disappeared. Um, probably not the best message for us to be sending, right? That that life is easier without QA. I, I think this is probably dog. a message we should avoid. <laughs> it's just gonna, just nothing but dog pictures. There's some cats in there too, but just a little, little, little fluffy. Sorry, sorry, it's just. No, no, no. <laughs> you, 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 it's. One of these Doggo days, I'll... pictures are interesting, are more interesting than, than than the state of the galaxy right this second. One, one of these days, I'm just gonna sneak the dogs into the studio here because like one of my dogs, she gets she likes to sit in the chair while I'm streaming, so I could she would literally just sit right here next to me, and it would just be a big golden retriever in me doing casting. Okay, hang on, something is happening. Okay, all right, let's back on track. Yep, something is actually happening once again. Oh God, the Senate. <laughs> In the Senate, yep. <laughs> the Heavy Metal Incorporated have tried to declare the human game developers from Earth a crisis. Yep. And this time, their Diplo weight is a bit higher. And by a bit higher, I mean a lot higher. Mm -hmm. um, are they using favors here? I, yeah, they are. They're using favors as well. Um, they've got the Commonwealth and, uh, uh. Trappistine are both. So if Trappistine or Commonwealth use any favors, then they will get countered. Um. So who's voting for? That is Earth, Dom Earth Dolphins and Heavy Metal. Yeah. So, okay, so what we're seeing is basically the whole galaxy... The, the the smaller factions of the whole galaxy supporting the human game developers which is uh you know a bit of a, a bit of a change of pace from a couple streams ago when everybody was trying to murder their faces oh, off oh hang on hang on war just were declared war, wait 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 uh, the commonwealth is attacking the church of gains the, the the Commonwealth and everybody and the donut and everyone are all attacking the Church of Gains. Okay, so is the plan to murder them before heavy metal can? Maybe. Situation log updated. Just make sure none of them have taken a crisis perk. No, none of them have taken a crisis perk. But yeah, they are. They're moving in on the Church of Gains. It would look like the Church is is Post not really going to survive engaged. this. There's yeah, uh, a fair have, few fleets moving in. They don't have the... Uh, no, they do not have the fleet power for that. Station no. under attack. Um, I suspect this may get a bit messy. Um... I think this might get a lot messy, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, I mean, for um, the Church of Gains, yes. For everybody else. Mm. So. It's got to be a slaughter. Unless unless they have... Situation log updated. Ooh, we got a big battle so, forming. So we've got claims... Oh, oh God, my game's... Ah, I'm trying to get... Uh, I can't see yeah. <laughs> my game. My game locked up. <laughs> All right, I'll watch uh, yours. I'm, I'm in...
Uh, yeah, the, the Church of Gains oh, is... Oh, um, I'm locked up. ...losing a lot of stuff here. A lot, a lot of stuff. Those fleets have been absolutely decimated. Um... So yeah, the Church of Gains have lost 150k already. Uh, which is a fairly big amount to lose so quickly. You know what I always thought would be an interesting visual addition? Was that whenever there was a big battle like that, if the debris would slowly form, like like move around the planet, or the, the sun, yeah. would slowly form like a, like a stretched out a, ring. A ring. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep. I always thought that'd be cool because, like, you know, millions of people just died in a space battle of all these massive ships. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, you hear that, Stellaris game developers? Just add in actual gravity. Here's another massive battle. So the Church of Gains, in a counterattack, has tried to push into Terminal Egress to be met by a very large Federation fleet. Hmm. Uh, which appears to be winning at this point quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, do not, I don't think this counterattack by the Church of Gains has been uh, successful. <laughs> point points for trying. Uh, yeah, accurate. There's always the possibility that they they left the uh, the back door unguarded, and they might be able to get in there and wreak a little havoc. But no. So is this just deciding it's time to partition this 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 empire here? So, um, what I've looked at is the core four systems have been claimed by the horticulturalists. So, if we quickly flick over to uh, da -da 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 -da, the Commonwealth, let's look at their claims. Uh, the Commonwealth have no claims in this war, and let's look at the donuts. Uh, Whoa, 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 did more war just, what just happened? Something else just happened. Uh, I think Trappistine just declared war on... Oh! Heavy Metal Incorporated, the Dolphin Planet Wealth, and Order of Our Lady Trappistine just declared war on the Commonwealth. So the Gardeners of the Galaxy and uh, Sentient Milu are now at war. So Heavy Metal Inc. is trying to save? Yeah, it would seem that Heavy Metal Incorporated is trying to save the Church of Gains. So that they themselves could murderize them later? Well, I assume this will get... Oh yeah, I mean at this point it doesn't matter if they're in, if they're in a large scale war. All they need to do is a couple of good fleet engagements and they're where they need to be. Yep. And they're about to get it. I'm switching uh, over to heavy metal. So, uh, yeah, that was silly. Um, oh yeah, that was that was a very very bad idea from the Donut Corporation. I'm I'm, been... I'm watching the 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 points just yep. go. <laughs> They've just walked face first into the heavy metal link's main battle fleet. Forty five hundred. Yeah, that was that was painful. So they just got a couple hundred more points there. Uh, yep, four thousand five hundred. They're up to now five hundred to go. This feels like Gaines is a sheep with two wolves fighting to uh, over who gets to eat them. Accurate. Well, maybe Ooh. both those empires really like mutton. Did they get? I think they got it out. Um, Poor Church of Gates. Uh, <laughs> uh, straight away, Heavy Metal Link is moving into the horticulturalist territory. Um, interestingly, our Lady Trappistine is not seemingly joining in with this war. They're just kind of sitting on the side and letting them get on with it. As are, like, the human game developers from Earth are just kind of sitting and watching the rest of the galaxy uh, absolutely 
destroying the galaxy. While this is going on, the Senate right now is in, in favor of declaring the human game developers the crisis. Uh, By a very, very slim margin. Is, would Church of Gains be enough to flip it? Not quite. But it's very so, nearly though. It's so close. Yep. So basically, all out galactic war. Which I mean is what we wanted. We're that's what we're here for at the end of the day, is to watch the players just mash face. Also so, uh, political intrigue. Because that, that was honestly a lot of fun, watching the, the politics shift around. Yep. Uh, so, at this point, um, Heavy Metal Inc. is pushing back into all of the territory that uh, Church of Gains have lost. Mm -hmm. And retaking all of that, and seemingly trying to chase... The uh, oh, order of our lady Trappistines just moved a fleet in as well. Uh, they've got the Federation fleet going after uh, and trying to attack. Um, but they're still well short of their target. They need a big, they need a, a decent sized fleet engagement. And I mean, especially well, especially if their their opponents are mostly fielding battleships, because it's yeah. it's five points per ship, no matter what ship it is. So you know, if someone was was running a lot of corvettes or destroyers, they'd be able to farm it pretty quickly. But with mostly battleships, they need a lot of kills. Oh, the, it, it's not close anymore. Four hundred to three seventy five. I think the fleet losses um, are sw are swinging it. Yeah. So that will array the galaxy against the human game developers again. And the automated support unit. Yep. Um, did they bring their Colossus? I haven't seen it yet. No, I no, the Colossus is their Colossus is still. Also, have you seen the name of their Colossus? The penultimate what? The penultimate countdown. Oh, okay. As in, not yeah, the final yeah, countdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, hang on a second. I've, I've got to go spelunking because I've kicked the magic red box. Do, do not kick the magic red box. Bad, Ben. Bad. <laughs> so, um... The... The... the, the they're getting there, but not quick enough at this point. But we uh, the interesting thing, of course, here is we are very firmly coming to the end of this week's stream. Uh, we got seven minutes. Yep. And um, I, I, I thought this would be the last one, but it's not. It's going to be a cliffhanger, isn't it? Well, I, no. I, re I really expected the players to kind of um, uh, uh, start shaking things out <laughs> a little sooner, but, you know, the machinations of the devs. Uh, also, do not forget, you can still vote for the MVP empire of the entire dev clash. Uh, the vote is in chat right now. Uh, there is a straw poll link put up by the wonderful Nurgle. I'm going to point. Uh, click that. Go and join in. Tell us which empire you think is the best. Um, yes, Ben. Ben being the best here. Look at the poking. Um, I, 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 I am a skilled pointer. You that, are. That's you why. Are, so. that, that's how I got the job. Just Is that the secret, is it? Do I need to improve my pointing skills? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got ya, got ya. It's Excellent. The, it's the situational awareness of where the camera is, where things are on the screen. It, it's a, you've it, gone from openly admitting it was a complete accident and coincidence. But, so, to yeah, le, it's just talent. It's a learned <laughs> skill is what it is. Oh, God. Ben <sighs> is a power pointer. That, that hurt my soul. I want you to know that. In all, in all seriousness, though, 
my 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 complete willingness to make a fool of myself in front of an audience is one of the things that did get me the job. Um, so being aware of where the red box is, though, yeah, no. <laughs> heavy metal and the club piece. Really? And I expected them to keep this going at least long enough to get their crisis points, which they did not. They didn't even get into another fight after that first one. Why would they do that? I thought at the very least they were using it for points. Crisis ducats. How have I not been calling them crisis ducats this whole time? Ah, it's missed what? opportunity right there. Oh, because of the um, vote. How, how did the vote go? Uh, well, it's still in support. It passed. So everyone is now at war with the automated support unit. Yep. And the human game developers. Yep. It is all go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Probably didn't want to load up into a save in war and forget what's happening. I do that all the time. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, right. I'll stop. I'll save, like, save a Paradox game because, like, a war got really out of control. And I was like, I don't have the mental capacity to micromanage this war right now. And I'll put it down. And it'll come back a week later. And I'll load up the save file all, like, gung-ho. I'm going to go play my save game. And then it'll just be brrr, chaos. <laughs> like, oh, that's why I did that. So... The human game developers have been declared the crisis, yes, but they are not a crisis empire, uh, Pal and Revna. Just to answer that one quickly. Um, I, yeah, they, this is going to be messy, isn't it? So far, it doesn't look like there have been any incursions on any front. Um, but this is where being at war with the Church of Gains is the last thing, like, the Commonwealth and everyone needed, because surely all their fleets are now kind of on the wrong side of the galaxy. Um, I wonder how the human game developers feel about uh, this, given the fact that the heavy metal ink is stronger than them and literally the crisis, but all the vote, uh, all the, the Senate's just like, no, nope, you're the bad guy. Yeah, right. It. it They've honestly just been sitting there, like, like like polishing their fleet. Yep. For quite a while now. And now they are the crisis. And interestingly, a defined purpose is up as well. Synthetic citizen rights artificial intelligence policy is banned. Mm -hmm. Machine intelligence empires that are not rogue servitors are in breach of galactic law. And now we're on remove the custodianship, custodianship term, term limit. I mean, I would argue against the power of the custodian in this case, given that the human game developers from Earth have been kicked out of the Galactic Council and are being warred by everyone. Like a chapter of the... Hey, if this, if this were like chapters in The Walking Dead, we would have to murder... One of the, one of the player, uh, player, player factions here. You know, every yeah. stream, it'd be like, oh, you guys really like the heavy metal ink? Well, they're dead. That's what you get for enjoying them. This is on you, fans. They're dead. I hope you enjoy your life now. They're dead. So, although this war has started, very interestingly, the human game developers have not moved their fleets. <laughs> Church of Gates are down to basically no fleet. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they have been squeezed. Um, and we have a little bit of action going on down in the bottom between the... Ah, uh, the Panic Wealth is pushing in a little bit. Um... Although I do have yeah, to say, if you like The Walking oh. Dead, comic books are better. Oh, 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 oh. I caught one. Uh, so, uh, Ooh. What, kind of, what kind of classes we got here? Yeah, um, so this planet is about to get... Oh, Platypus Prime. Yep. 
Well, platypus can swim, right? Fun, fun right? fact. Fun, 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 I guess, not a fact, but it's a game game thingy. I once tried to make a RimWorld colony based entirely off a platypus-based ecosystem. Like, like, the economy would be entirely platypus-based. So, platypus leather, platypus meat, selling platypus eggs. Uh, their life cycle is not tenable in RimWorld to that kind of thing. Is the only thing I failed to do in RimWorld was make a platypus colony. Enemy troops I've never managed to make Science guinea pigs profitable. Oh, I did that like uh, like six months ago. I made a, a guinea pig colony, and it was so yeah. ridiculously wealthy that I was eventually overwhelmed with raids because they were coming from my my, pla my my guinea pig ducats, basically. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Kept uh, kept around, I think it was around 350 uh, guinea pigs in the colony at every given time. Too many more in the game performance tanked. And there we have it. They have killed a world. Platypus Prime is now an ocean world. Sploosh. Yeah, it got well and truly splooshed. Well and truly splooshed. Uh, so the automated support unit is definitely losing territory. Um, but the human game developers from Earth are also attacking the Panic Wolf in this little pocket here. Um, I don't think the Panic Wolf will be too upset about <laughs> can, that. Though. Can maybe you you flick over to the other map mode so we can actually see the border? <laughs> uh. There we go. That's a I little mean, better. It makes it a little better. It's a little, it's a little yeah, better. It's a little better. It's not much better. It's a little better. The so, colors chosen by the empires were... Um, I was about to say, I don't think... Because the, the, the you know, the, the, the colors are chosen on, on creation and not on galaxy, like, spawning. Yeah. There's, there's no way to, like, for... Unless you go into the, like, the, the save file after the fact and try to change them around... Uh, yeah, I suppose if we use, although even dip. No, it doesn't. I tried that on my side. Yeah. Doesn't help. No. It's uh, less useful than it could <laughs> Ben Gibbs' memes printed out this week. I didn't. I mean, I'm sorry. I keep getting completely distracted. Like, I was planning on doing that at the end of last week. Uh, uh, like, last Friday, I was planning on doing that. So that I, because I was going to be in the office on Friday, so that I could have them ready for today. But like my my cargo container full of stuff arrived from the United States on Friday, and then so, so I had I, I had to be home to accept it and you know unpack and shit. So I, I wasn't around for it. And then today came and I was busy all morning and I just forgot about it. Panic wealth have lost a lot of territory down south, and I suspect as well. Um, Why just am I lost. looking at yours? I got my old screen over here. Yeah, their their economy's in a bit of trouble because they're losing out on thousands of trade down south now. Does the Vicky Three Dev Clash start after this? Uh no, we won't have a D Vicky Three Dev Clash after this one. Sorry. Um, we'll we'll have lots of interesting things to stream, but not that right now. Keep just just keep your keep your eyes out. Paradox Discord, socials, Situation we'll let you know when that's ready to go. All the usual exciting places, right? Forget your head if it wasn't screwed on. Hey, I rely on my wife to remember things for me, so yes, you are correct. <laughs> um, also, uh, I think we're at an end for this week. Yeah, we are. Oh, we are actually a few minutes over, so we are going to have to yeah. wrap it up here. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, we, we, we are... We are done for the week, um, which is astonishing, really. The fact it that it's fast. gone by so quickly, right? It, go, it goes fast. It goes fast when you've got good banter going. Um, so uh, I believe what will be happening is shortly uh, we'll probably get joined by everyone as per normal. Yeah. Um, but uh, we will be back next week, by the looks of things, uh, for another are, session are, of this. Are, are, are we? Are we? Are we gonna? Are, do we, so, do we yes. have? Do we have wiggle room in the schedule for another I believe week? Believe so. It was certainly uh, when I spoke to Jimmy beforehand. It, it was Check being it. talked about in those. Results, I can't. You know so. what? <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't. I can't actually. I don't have eyeline on Jimmy's corner, 
from from where I am in here. So, but I can't. But I can't. I can see Nurgle. So Jimmy has to communicate to Nurgle, who will visually communicate to me, who will then communicate to you. We got a <laughs> professional. But we got the thumbs up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So Excellent. we we will so, yeah. we will be back same place same time, which is three p.m. CET on the Paradox Twitch channel. Uh, and I mean, you could always watch if you if you haven't seen seen it yet. We got the VODs available, so you can catch up too. Uh, but I believe what we're just gonna do towards the end here is just pull everybody into a room. Uh, if anybody has anything to say, we'll 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 say our our parting farewells here, and uh, and then be back next week. Yeah, and we'll be back next Monday um, at the same time. Yeah. So that's three o'clock Europe, two o'clock in England. Um, that is uh, 9 a.m. EST and 6 a.m. PST. Or and Eastern and Pacific. It isn't ST at the moment. But you know what I mean. And 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 apparently no time in the in mountain time zone because DJ doesn't care about people who live in the I, middle of the country. No, look, it, it is difficult enough doing those ones on the mm -hmm. fly in your head. I, 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 I figure if you're in America, you're used to the times being given in Eastern and Pacific and you can work out. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. DJ doesn't care about the middle of the country. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Just Sorry, you're from. Why are you complaining? You're from Florida. I'm from New York. Oh, I thought you were from Florida. I lived in Florida before I moved here, uh, but I am from right. New York, I am, sir. I you do not. You New do York. not dare call me an actual <laughs> Florida man, sir. I oh, take okay. offense to that. Yeah, I can understand. J'accuse! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, uh, oh, dear. Um, that DJ thinks USA is only the coast. No, no. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think, as, as Ben said, we're going to be joined very shortly by our players. Um, see if any of them want to, to say anything. Um, and then, like we say, we will be back next week uh, for the... <laughs> What will almost certainly be the final session this time. Um, <laughs> New Splash Florida Man ranges during the product. In all fairness, I will say this. I am from New York, but I lived in Florida long enough to be at least an honorary Florida man. I could tell you stories of life in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it looks like people are starting to join us. Uh, hello there to everybody that is joining us at the moment. Hello. How are you all? Welcome Hello. along. Hello, thank you. So, uh, very quickly, um, thank you all for taking part so far and, and for joining in and everything like that. Has anybody got anything they want to, to sort of put to the audience at this point before we uh, call it quits for the day? Um, the Donut Corporation wants to tell everyone that they are not in favor of this uh, declaration of the crisis. Uh, they voted against it and mm -hmm. they were overruled. Uh, they just lack the necessary um, administrative uh, capacities to leave the galactic community at this point. They have communicated with the human game developers, and uh, the matter has been settled. Okay, so technically at war, but unwilling to f uh, to actually engage. Got it. Uh, okay. Just like the other war. <laughs> uh, so uh, has anyone else got anything they want to get off to bring chest? to the floor? The Rappelosirans are shocked and pulled at this aggressive move from the Heavy Metal Inc. and their dastardly allies. We shall not specifically our ladies something. We've never really heard of them on the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> shocked and appalled Apologies. and so on and so forth I don't, I really know. Them all. Uh, so we left in the huff and are not part of the galactic community anymore you we're... left the galactic community a lot of people <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. uh, after we came to the aid of the church of gains uh, uh, that, that was a pretty entertaining that... uh, spat there I, that I, I, had, I, go ahead. That had nothing to do with why the uh, the Gardeners of the Galaxy decided to leave. Your involvement in that war was uh, irrelevant. It was uh, uh, because you overruled and uh, kept 
just uh, declaring these uh, innocent humans the crisis that we no longer trusted you. It was a matter of justice. Just. They, they've, they've done something to your food, haven't they? And the horticulturists just want to say that all we want is to make the world and galaxy beautiful. And uh, we will make sure that that is what happens. Whether you like it or not. I did get the It will be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We will fix their planets and we will give them back. Except for one. So Ag we'll aggressive ourselves. gardening. Yeah. yeah that, it is that, our that. job. So there we have it. So is there anything else anyone wants to say before we call it night? I think we're good. I, I heard no hands. I think so. Uh, do I, we I have, no hand. Do we have results of our poll before we go, though? Do we have that poll? would be great. We have poll results that we could get up on our our lovely, either on the screen or just something passed over to us so that we we know. I just I just got it in my earballs. Uh, it was apparently voted as heavy metal ink with around thirty five percent of the vote as the MVP, despite being literally the crisis for like half this. Uh, I mean, what am, what do I have to be upset about? I'm the one who loves chaos, so I guess that that's perfectly that's fine. Right. Yeah, you should be happy. I and I, I like to think that I also chose right because I chose the proto heavy metal ink, and yeah, I'm just grasping at straws here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm maintaining they're not heavy metal ink anymore. They're they're soft rock, soft rock incorporated. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, oh, the, the, that that's cruel and cuts you me down to my deep rocky heart. <laughs> you have betrayed your own principles by making ships out of rock. You're clearly a soft rock band now. We are made of rock and metal. You, you are a soft rock band. You have betrayed your metal roots. You're clearly releasing ballads at this point. You're going to make us cry. Is that the name of Stop your ballad? Stop making ships. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And with that, folks, we're going to have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching the Starlaris Dev Clash. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m. CET, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.